We just arrived here, Hartman Bridge Road, and you can see behind me the smoke just pouring out of the Hershey Farm restaurant. Fire engines were just blaring through as they headed out this way. There are a number on scene here, obviously in a parking lot across the way. You can see them putting water on it, just smoke pouring out, plumes of smoke up into the sky. This broke out a little before noon, between 1130 and noon. Numerous fire trucks blaring to head here. You can see there's still flames pouring out of this restaurant. This is a very popular tourist attraction and tourist area. We saw folks just kind of running across the grass uh, toward the pond that is on the right here and body of water people getting away from this building. As you can see, it is a tough fire to get control of right now. A lot of firefighters pouring water on the scene. As you see, the smoke just pouring out of the building. Again, it's the Hershey Farm restaurant. This is a big tourist area. I see the Paradise Fire and Rescue fire trucks right in front of me, but there are numerous departments. This is a very tough fire, as you can see, to get control of at this moment. At this point, we just arrived, so waiting word to whether hopefully anybody that was in there did get out and that there are no injuries. Uh, my colleague Ann Shannon is actually here and she's trying to uh, tell me something. So go ahead, Ann. Yes, I'm sorry, Barbara, for the interruption, but um, I was here, um, you know, as you know, as quickly as possible as I don't live too far away. It's a day off for me, actually. But I was able to just speak to one of the employees who was inside when this started. She said someone spotted it. They were not open. No uh, patrons were inside. There were employees inside. Once somebody spotted the fire, and she said it appeared very small in the beginning, everyone rushed out. And she said they thought they were able to contain it, but clearly uh, it has not been contained. But she said the important thing is everyone is out. Everyone is okay. They are just grateful for first responders at the present time. They do not, she did not have any indication what may have started the fire or where exactly it may have started. She said she believes it started in the kitchen area, uh, but has now taken over the dining rooms, the lobby area as well. And she actually told me this is the second time that they've had a fire here, but nothing like this uh, prior to today. It's just an incredible sight, Anne. I'm so glad you were on senior because that's a lot of great information. So hopefully everybody is all right. Uh, and, you know, that's great news because when you see this, it's certainly uh, uh, Oh, it's overwhelming. And uh, uh, as I said, when I first arrived on the scene, flames were shooting through the main roof of the building. Firefighters here very quickly from the local fire stations. They were able to just pour water on top, but the fire has continued to spread. This is a really popular spot for locals sure. and for um, tourists as well. Sight and sound just up the hill from here. Um, so extremely popular place. Uh, well known in this area. Um, just so sad to watch this this burn and so grateful for the first responders who were here so quickly. Well, certainly, and thanks for that information. We appreciate it and never a day off uh, in this business, but uh, certainly some uh, good news that Ann said that uh, hopefully everyone did get out. The fact that it wasn't busy and open at the time. Uh, as you can see, though, firefighters certainly have their hands full with this fire. We'll be covering this, of course, throughout the day and give you updates and hopefully talk to the firefighters and perhaps find out what might have uh, sparked this fire.